We're gonna show you how we pack for a reptile show today. We're going to a reptile show. Hello, ha! Hello, hey, hello, hello, there, folks. <laughs> Look, who I got, I got my buddy here, Austin. <laughs> Yeah, he's trying to hide over there. He can't hide. He can't hide in this room. There's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere. It's literally, like it's like it's not as. Uh, some people say this room looks pretty big on camera. It's actually really small. I can run from one side to the other in like a minute and a half, no problem. I don't want to prove it to you. I'm just gonna tell you. You just gotta take my word for it. Just like everything else I say on this channel. You know the funny thing is I could be lying to you guys. I might not even have a family. How would you guys really know? If you're watching on a video, you don't know what's true or not on the internet. You can hear anybody say anything about it, whatever. It doesn't matter what they say. It might not be real. You don't know. How do you know? You know? That's my point. That's my point right now. I was like, how do you know that anything you see on the internet is real? How can you prove that it's fact? Can you? Think about it. We're going to show you how we pack for a reptile show today. We're going to a reptile show. Austin came with me yesterday to the reptile show. He got to kind of see what we were doing and give me a little constructive criticism as far as what we could do better with the shows but today I just wanted to show you what I do to pack up and kind of get ready so if you're thinking about doing shows yourself you maybe have a little insight as to what works as far as storage units and keeping things organized and maybe what animals to bring I just wanted to sit down here with Austin for a minute and talk about him and the problems I've found with him. You know, you, you learn new things about people when they're your friends that you come and actually hang out with them longer that he does this weird thing with ice cream. And I've never seen anybody do this. He, he like melts it completely and dr Why? Please. It's something I've done since I was seven. It tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's ridiculous. I, I didn't, that's not actually what I wanted to talk about. I don't even actually know what I want to talk about. I just figured I'd set up the camera so you can see kind of what we do as far as studio lighting and studio set. This is it. Get the lights back here. Get the light over there, shining on your side butt. And we get the light over here. We get the camera right there. We point it this way. We sit and we talk. Hey! I can't really tell because the camera's in the way, but does it show my love handle nicely? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I've got a light shining directly on your love handle, especially with all that ice cream we had last night. Like, it's gonna really accentuate the love handle, especially with that light shining out from that side. 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, love handle. This is not Austin's first time here at the Triple B facility. He's been here before. I'll link that video right here of him doing a pretty decent job feeding the big snakes. Also, I remember now the first time I met this guy. I was doing a live stream up in the up in the crib, up in the cuts, up in the hood, and the I was in the, in the middle, of, we're in the, I was in the middle of the weight loss challenge with Miguel, yeah. that he lost, by the way, and then never challenged me to anything ever again. He was wearing a Team Cusco shirt. He made his own little custom, custom Team Cusco shirt for the weight loss challenge win. I think it was that shirt that caused me to win. You think? Probably. Probably the shirt. Yeah. Nobody else made a custom Team Cusco shirt. You were the only one. Because I'm a ride or die. Ride or die. Biscuits. <laughs> Biscuits. <laughs> So I'm gonna try and do the, the animal pack up here in one single solid take. And if we have to cut it at all, it's cause Austin's filming and he messed up. Pretty much, yeah. So I apologize in advance. So this is, this is basically it. This is the setup minus a table. You know, it's a table minus a table minus a table. Minus a table. On the top tub here, we've got this Russian nesting doll kind of thing going on. It's getting back to my Cusco roots of the Russianness. We've got nesting travel tubs. Little spray stuff in case something gets messed up. Paper towels I just throw on the ground. And of course, some hand sanitizer for the kiddos. Inside here, we've got tub one, two, three. We actually got six different tubs up in here that'll put different animals and they'll go back in here and all, all six of the animals plus the tarantula will fit back in here. And we'll show you guys in a minute. Then we got this second tub. It can actually hold a pretty decent sized retake. Betsy Ross, our biggest retake, goes in this tub. And then inside of that one, we're just storing them. We've got three of these Freedom Breeder rodent tubs that also nest together and come apart too. And they've been working really well to uh, transport snakes. I put the snakes in here with a little paper. They got good ventilation. And those are awesome too. So that's a total of 10 animals so far, right? Six plus the tarantula plus three, that's 10. 
And then we got this last big tub right down below here. And this is where we put the tegu because she's got a long tail, so I just wanted to have lots of space for her tail when we're traveling. And uh, and that's it. But we're gonna load the animals up. We're gonna head to the show. So this is this is Roxanne. She is the original red tegu that was uh, given to us by Mr. Brown to Fowler, the original owner, or maybe not original owner, but the long, long time owner of Romy Reptiles. And uh, she does great with the kids. She's a little bit still a little bit nervous around large groups of people but she's getting much better after these past few shows we've done and uh she's she's first she goes on the bottom so she goes in first smart way to do it right look at that big beautiful girl say hi to the camera give some nice hiffy hiffy hoffy hoffy give a nice lick oh it's so nice so i put this paper that i get from my buddy ed in all the tubs just because it soaks up really well and just in case they defecate or pee on the way and then when I get there, I check again before I take the animals out. Again, when I get to the show, I kind of double check through everything, make sure if anything's peed that I clean it up so that when I'm pulling it out, it's not covered in pee in the middle of the show. This is all part of the working smarter, not harder thing, right? Got it on the tub, got it on the wheels, and we got our, our homie Betsy Ross in here. Big purple albino reticulated python. Does great with kids, does great with people. She's very gentle. Um, doesn't like to be touching her face like just about any snake, but she also doesn't freak out if you do like too bad and she fits very nicely in here it lets her get her thigmo tactic action on she's feels comfortable on all sides while she's traveling and it's funny after we're done with the shows like a lot of times she'll just kind of pile she'll she'll be ready she'll head for the box and climb in herself and be like okay that's enough kid time i'm going back in my box um anybody that knows anything about snakes knows that they do feel more comfortable in small dark spaces so since she's spending a lot of time with people and being out um, i like to have this to go back into to feel more secure after she's been around all those people and uh seems to do pretty well she's she's been coming to every show so far and she's been doing great so uh pretty happy so the next animal we bring is our toad here and little toady toady mctoderton goes toad and hopping toad and hopping ropping flopping flopping bye toad then our, our little baby african bullfrog who is growing like a weed put her in one of these little things on some cocoa blocks with some water so stay nice and moist this is one of the few animals that we don't actually let the kids handle just because the frogs porous skin um you know we don't we don't want to get a bunch of oils from a bunch of different people in there so this is actually the only animal that, that the uh people at the show don't get to handle then we got these guys here we got the leopard gex they don't actually stay down here in this room but i just brought them down for ease of this video um this guy's actually been biting people recently so but luckily it doesn't really hurt that bad but we may retire him if he continues to uh be uncomfortable in biting people and then next we've got our turtle and our tortoise. We got a little uh, box turtle, a little Russian tortoise. So, uh, Russian tortoise was from Brandon again. And then the box turtle was from Terry over at the NorCal Herp Society. And uh, these guys don't live down here either. We just brought them down here for the video. And got a little tote for each one of them is the children's python. I like to kind of give contrast and show that, you know, pythons aren't all big, giant, huge snakes like a lot of people might think. And then this contrast with Betsy Ross, of course, is like pretty phenomenal. And those animals all kind of fit in there nicely like so, plus our little paper towel and our disinfectant and hand sanitizer. And then we've got our hissing cockroaches. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you are not a roach guy. <laughs> I'm not a roach guy. I don't... So... I'm really not a fan of the roaches, but I think they're great for the kids. Have a nice variety of species to show them. Just, they freak me out still a little bit. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna, I, they, tra they travel in this. I don't transport them to something else. They just, they go in this little house and they come with us. And then we got the little beaky bee. This little animal here is the one we loved. Oh, what's going on with your nose there? Hoof, hoof. I'd love to start bringing this animal to the show. It's T, T. Do you want to come to the shows with daddy? And show the kitties all the animals? Huh, yeah? You're gonna do it real soon, okay? Is it gonna be fun? Yeah, can I have a smooch? Then we just got snakes to put in these final three. And this is Sunset, our male indigo. He's kind of been the icebreaker at every show so far. I bring him out first and just talk about snakes and get the show started with him. And he does a really good job. He's really docile, easy to handle for the kids and just really cool. Can you put him inside the, can you put him in here, T? Oh, good job. <laughs> That was a little bit rough, but you're learning. This animal here was donated to us by John Cashman and little eyeless uh, retic. 
that <laughs> that Leia has just commandeered from me. And he's really good with the kids. He's very mellow and docile, and it's really cool to show the kids that uh, snakes can still see without eyes, or at least explain to them that the, you know with the heat pits how they can see the uh, <laughs> the heat signature, and that not having eyes doesn't completely disable him. And he's real easy to hold because he holds onto the kids too, and just kind of. You know, I don't have to worry about them dropping him because he's not going to let himself drop, so... Is that nice, T? So after that, I've got one more bin here and I've been generally putting another snake, whether it's a ball python or last time I brought a boa, just so that... There's nothing in there, T. Ta-da! Or any other kind of bonus animal. Animal number 11 is kind of the bonus animal, but I like to have a different variety of species, obviously, so the kids can check them out. I know this is probably more than some people bring their educational shows, or less, possibly. Um, if you do education as your show, as yourself, uh, why don't you leave a comment down below and let us know like how many animals you bring to your shows, what kind of variety of species you have. It'd be just interesting, I think, for people to read down there. Got my cart and we just roll. It's a one-man show. We get to the yeah. get to the thing and break it down, set up the table, and stoke some kids out on some animals, man. Pretty simple. And tea. Oh! <laughs> How'd that feel? <laughs> Ready to hit again another one? Bunk! <laughs> Wanna hit another one? Yeah? Bunk! <laughs> uh oh, where are you going, T? I'm so happy I'm getting all this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Austin picked up a snake just now while he's here. His first triple B snake. If you want to know what the snake is, you can go over to his channel. He's got his own channel, Ball and Shank Constrictors. There will be a link down in the description. He's going to show the snake on there, as well as his top three favorite snakes here at the place. But before we head to the show... What do you know? I know. Godzilla! <laughs> what about Godzilla? That it's a movie character. It's not a monster. It's a titan and... You could call it Monarch, or Kaiju, or Titan. I like to call them Titans. And it's the king of the Titans. Why are you talking like a baby? Okay, I'm crazy. That's all you know. <laughs> hey, Jaden. What? What do you know? I know. Crystals. What about crystals? Some are clear and some aren't clear and some are shiny and that's what I know. Nice. Eli. What? Oh, what do you know? I know. Wooly mammoths. What about woolly mammoths? That they you could swing their tusks around and that's all I know. <laughs> Mushy, what do you know? Oh, I thought you were going to say it this time. <laughs> what are you eating? Oh no. <laughs> oh man, that was close. Alright folks, thanks for tagging along for us today. I hope that, that helped you if you're looking to do educational shows of your own. Maybe look, just a slight insight as far as what animals you could possibly bring and maybe some of your setup for transporting animals to and from the show. And that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We're going to get off to this thing and stoke out some kids. You guys have a great way, great way, a great way to have a great day is just smile and say okay. Later. Aloha. Coral glow, cinnamon, bongo. Check out the oranges on this bad mamma jamma. Look at that snake!